Well, we'll have a brand new radiator. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give you a quick intro uh, to this video. We'll be talking about the Isuzu Trooper that we purchased a couple months ago. So it was a 1995. It's about 30 years old. We figured this would be a good vehicle for us to be going across the country in our travels. Uh, it's got the 4x4. And it'll be good for the rainy season. So you'll see more in the video. Okay, so as mentioned, you know, this is a 1995 Isuzu Trooper, uh, five-speed manual, four-wheel drive with a turbo diesel. So when we found this, what we liked about it was the fact that it appeared to have pretty good, pretty good bones, good engine, uh, well, quite a lot of mileage on it. I think it had something like 485,000 kilometers these things are pretty much bulletproof they run forever so we got it a couple months back in november and then have done some work on it uh, we found that there was some work that needed to be done on the steering uh, the bog joints tie rods battery we found needed to be replaced and those sorts of things so we thought we were in pretty good shape and we took it out to the farm for a uh, test drive. Peter took it out. Uh, Peter has done a great job. That's fun enough for you and getting everything refurbished on the trooper. Unfortunately, when we took it out to the farm over Christmas, we found, or maybe this was fortunate, we found that there was an issue with the radiator so we saw a leak yeah it must have started leaking right after I walked by it mm -hmm. where's the the hole in the from the bottom oh it's on the bottom yeah I have to, I have to turn upside down for you I can see it yeah just right there I think on that other side, like here, right on here. Oh, yeah, the whole. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, right on the edge. It all cracked. Huh. Yeah, right here. Did you see this part, see? Yeah. It cracked up. Yeah, it all cracked. Yeah, we have to buy the new one. Yeah. Well, we'll have a brand new radiator. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know why I thought it was already. Uh -huh. By the time we're done, yeah. everything's yeah. going to be brand new on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Peter was able to find a replacement radiator for the trooper. As you may know, troopers are not in production anymore, but there is a pretty decent aftermarket market available for parts and what have you. So we put the radiator back together, attached the hose fittings, installed it with a little bit of shoehorn work. As you can see, the new radiator is now in place. You can see we got the new belts in as well. So we got brand new belts installed. And we did have an issue with the hose fittings, so it took a little bit of work to get the hose fittings clamped in place uh, so they wouldn't leak. But after that, I'm out of work and we were in good shape. So, what I can say here is that anytime you've got a 30 year old vehicle, you'll have these kind of mechanical issues things that you find and 
have to replace. And so we've gone through that process. So now I feel like we're in pretty good shape here with this. Uh, I think we've taken care of most of the big items and I think really the concern on our part was to make sure that we had any safety issues taken care of um, so we wouldn't get stranded anywhere once we start taking this out um, out in the country side of Lao. So we we'll feel pretty good about that now I think. I'd say the only thing we have left is to get a new set of tires, so we'll be doing that pretty soon. So taking on the outside look, this is yeah, this is really what the trooper looks like. You can see we've had the interior redone, reupholstered, uh, seats redone, and the headliner, what have you. So now yeah, it's looking in, like she's in pretty good shape here. ready for the trail. Oh, and we did do uh, also put in a, uh, a dash camera because if you're in Lao, it's very wise to, uh, to have a dash cam recording uh, just in case you're in an accident, you've got some evidence. So we did that. We've got a text screen, GPS, a little bit of a creature comfort there to help with the drive-in. And Peter also had a, uh, a roof rack and uh, roof awning installed, so we could do some, maybe some overlanding and some camping, what have you. So yeah, for the most part, it looks like it's fitted out pretty well. So over the next few videos, you'll see the trooper out and about, and we hope to have have it outfitted now so that we can start doing some true adventuring and traveling across the countryside of Lao. So that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.